talk about Marvin Bagley, the second overall pick in the 2018 draft. Not a fan of people who are criticizing his play. I don't know if this has been mentioned either. Luka Doncic was taking a pick ahead of him. Yeah, that's what Bagley keeps hearing. He said to the Sacramento Bee, quote, just keep that same energy. Once things start to come around or I start putting up these good games, don't change positions. Stay with what you've said from the jump. You want to rock with me or continue to not rock with me? That's your opinion, but keep that same energy. Is Marvin Bagley saying keep that same energy to I his mean, critics, BS or real talk? Gentlemen. No offense to, to Marvin, but when, it, when, when are these games going to start happening? I mean, <laughs> well, like it's no, I'm serious. I'm not trying to be funny. Like, well, you haven't given up your sign. I, yes, I am. This is where I am. <laughs> so, you know, real. I, don't, well, he, I mean, he's being or, real saying He has that. been real, but I'm like, this Luca's on a whole nother level right now. So, and and I don't see him reaching Luca's level. Not to but mention I, the reason he's up. The reason that fans are upset is because it was revealed that they didn't really <laughs> even give a shot right. at Doncic, and why they didn't pick him. I'm not going to get onto that. Right, in air <laughs> is a big part of it, and I don't think it's as much directed at Bagley as it is anti how did you not get Luca talk overall yeah. because look you've seen how he is he's an MVP candidate it doesn't even matter who the second guy is it doesn't for. matter you shouldn't take it right. personally no he shouldn't I mean now if you start putting up those numbers like Luca then you know we could start talking but you're not doing anything right now. it reminded me right. the phrasing it reminded me a little bit of like me when I would be a kid a kid and being like when I grow you'll <laughs> right? see yeah. and then I never grew still, I'm still we, very still very waiting short. on it still waiting. I'm still, still waiting, waiting on it right <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be able to play basketball better when I'm over four feet tall it, it's only barely happened um, do you I mean I I've spent some time with Marvin I happen to really like him I like his game but he is married especially while he's in Sacramento, to Luca, And unfortunately for him, while I appreciate what he's saying, I don't think there's going to be an easy way out of that. It's not quite like Sam Bowie because Jordan, Luca is not Jordan yet. Right. But I could see that taking a Sam Bowie-esque path. Um, but yes. He could never overcome that. I mean, I think in some ways Trey Young is going to be married to Luca for the rest of their careers. Sure. And that speaks to partly just how much of a presence Trey Young is, that he is much more on the public consciousness because of the way he has been balling out mm -hmm. than Marvin. Yeah, and we don't hear it about Aiton as much. DeAndre Aiton, who's been good but not great, has kind of, he's, he doesn't hear it as much as Bagley does. Bagley, Bagley should want more. People to change their minds. You don't yeah. want people to still be Keep that on that same energy. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, you want them to be fans, not haters. That doesn't make sense. Put up yes. those numbers. Yes. Uh, let's talk about Bradley Beal. His Wizards are 14 and 28 right now, but he is not ruling out a playoff appearance. The Wizards technically just four games out of the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference. Here is what Beal said when asked about the playoffs. Quote: That's the goal. That's every day for us. It's in the back of my mind. So, Clinton. My D.C. area yes. brethren here. B.S. or real talk? I'm sorry. This is only because of the words he used. It's in the back That's of my right. mind. You know yeah. what's in the back of my mind? I don't know. Cleaning up the garage. Getting that <laughs> motorcycle license I thought about giving. I mean, Those are all really more possible than the Wizards really making want, the playoffs this year. Roy's look good this season. Bertanzas look good as well. But to say that something's at the back of his mind implies that it's not even ooh, a priority. Ooh. And if it's not a priority not for, Brady, a for Bradley Beal, then how is it going to be a priority for the Wizards? I mean, as players, as, you know, we're competitors. Right. And even when you feel like you're on the worst team, you feel like you have a shot to make the playoffs. I remember getting traded from Houston to the Knicks, and the Knicks were awful. But I thought because of who I am, right. I was going to go there and help us make a run for the playoffs. I thought you said you ever played for the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to bring that up? <laughs> even T-Mex not that good. Um, you know, here's the thing. It's a miracle to me that the, that the Wizards are even four games out. Yes. It's true. Because of the injuries they've had. Does it speak the more to the Wizards or the Eastern well, Conference? I think, believe it or not, it's hard to say. I think they've actually overachieved based on what they've actually had on what the floor. What do I keep saying? So fun to watch. Oh, yeah. We got a Coach of the Year candidate in Washington? No, I didn't say I didn't oh, say okay. that. I've All got right, it in the back of my mind to attend a game this year. They might so want to investigate the back of the court because they don't play any defense at all, ever. They Worse just like Lee. this side. Not too many teams that this do side. play defense. Not the front. Not the front. Rachel. They like the front. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.